Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Learn. Today we will learn what is REST API with PHP. Now let's get started. Now suppose you want to create a weather app for weather forecast in your area. Now to do that you have to set up a supercomputer and a satellite to monitor the real time weather. But I wish everyone could be that rich. Now for those who cannot afford the setup you can get the same information from an existing web service using an API. Now, an API acts as a medium between a web service and your application, which helps you communicate your request with the service and get a response. So, in this video, we'll be learning about what is REST API, principles of REST API, how does a REST API work, and finally, creating a sample REST API with the help of PHP. Now let's move on and see what exactly is REST API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. Now API is a set of protocols which acts as a medium of communication between programs. In other words, it is a way two programs talk to each other. Now let us understand this with an example. Suppose you, the client, go to a restaurant to eat. Now here the restaurant is supposed to be the server. How do you communicate your order to the kitchen? Here the waiter comes in the picture. Now here the waiter acts as a medium between you, the client and restaurant, the server to send your request to the kitchen and get food in return as per requested. This is exactly what an API does. So now that we have an understanding of API, let us look at what REST means in REST API. Now REST stands for Representational State Transfer. It is an architectural style which defines a set of protocols of how an API is written. Now REST follows a set of principles for the design and development of an API. Now, it is a very efficient technology as REST takes less bandwidth over similar other technologies. So now that we know what REST API is, let us move on to understanding the principles on which a REST API is designed. Now, the first principle is client-server, the second stateless, third cacheable, fourth uniform interface, fifth layered system and sixth code on demand. Now let us understand these principles one by one. Client server. A REST API design works on the concept that the client and server should be isolated from one another and develop independently. This helps in increasing manageability across various platforms. Stateless. Now, according to this principle, REST APIs should be stateless, which means calls can be made independent of one another. Also, every request sent from the client to the server must include all the info needed to comprehend the request. Cacheable. This principle states that a REST API should be able to hold cacheable data. The data in the response should be indirectly or directly categorized as cacheable or non-cacheable. Uniform interface. According to this principle, there should be a uniform interface across all devices and platforms for the interaction between application and server. Layered systems. Now REST API's architecture includes several layers that operate together to construct a hierarchy that helps generate a more scalable and flexible application. Now, due to the REST API layered system, the application has better security as components in each layer cannot interact outside the subsequent layer. Moreover, it balances loads and offers shared caches for stimulating scalability. Now, the last code on demand. Now this is optional but this principle allows for coding to be communicated through the API as executable code to the client to be used within the application. We now know on what principles an API is designed. Now let us see how an API works. Now REST API makes use of HTTP methods to implement various tasks based on the client request. So the HTTP method uses 
CRUD to perform various operations on the server. CRUD here stands for Create, Read, Update and Delete. Now in case of HTTP methods, POST method is used to create get method to read data, put method to update it, and delete method to delete data. So I hope you have some understanding of what REST APIs are, principles on which they are designed, and how do they work. Now let us move on to creating a sample REST API with the help of PHP. So first let us open the XAMPP control panel. and start our Apache and MySQL servers. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to create a database for my API. Let us name it API. And let us name the table as users. It will have four columns. First one would be ID, integer and it will be auto incremented. The second let us name it as name. Third would be age and finally email. Now name would be a text and email will also be a text. Let us quickly save this. And now we have a table for us. Now let us add some data into the table. So Mac age would be 21 email would be mac at the rate xyz.com now let us create another entry name could be simply learn age 30 email simply learn at the rate xyz.com Now as you can see we have added two rows with the data that we just entered. Now let us move on to the Visual Studio code and see XAM htdocs and let us create a new folder. Let's name it API and open with Visual Studio code. Let's create a new file. Let us name it tutorial.php. And now let us start writing our code. Now, first, what I'm going to do is I am going to connect my database with this code. Now since the database is locally hosted, it will be local host root. Since there is no password, this field has to be empty. Now what was the name of the database? That is API. That is what we have to enter here. Now this is a variable to get the response from the server or the database. Okay, there's something wrong. 
Now it seems like my opening curly braces key is not working so I had to open this on screen keyboard. We don't need you right now. Now let us create another variable named SQL. Now this is select this command will select all the data from our table users. Users. Again, we are going to need the curly braces. Now what I am doing here is I am creating a variable as a counter and I am going to give it a value of 0. Now let us create a while loop and in this while loop I am going to fetch the data and display it in JSON format. Now we are going to write the names of all the rows that we created in a table. Now I'm just going to copy paste it, otherwise we'll have to use this on screen keyboard again and again. Second one was name. Age and email. Now what I'm going to do is I will plus plus the counter now to display it is in, in JSON format we have to write JSON in code with the response
error message and now let us end the code let us go and quickly save our code open our browser go to the local host api this is the folder that we created now as you can see our tutorial.php is visible here and when you click on it you can see the data from the database being extracted with the help of api in json format so this was all about rest api with the help of php thank you for watching and if you like this video do hit the like button and subscribe to simply learn stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.